What's going on? I've got a great idea. What? Well, you know how hard it is to record a near-death experience, right? Well, yeah. Well, maybe you've been going about it the wrong way. Instead of waiting around to record one of these uncontrollable experiences, why not induce a near-death experience and see what happens? Well, for one thing, that would be scientifically irresponsible, not to mention unethical and illegal. Technically, you'd be killing someone. Think about it. This is everything you've worked for, Marissa. You could disprove all the superstitions about fear and death. I don't know. People just don't volunteer to die. I am. Think of how credible this would be. I'm physically and mentally fit, I graduated the top of my class, and I'm a well-respected doctor. Besides, I have nothing to lose. You need to see a psychiatrist. Thought I was. Eric. I'm not your therapist, and I can't do anything more for you than I already have. Are you dumping me? <laughs> no. Terms like dump suggest dating, and we... <laughs> it's just that everything you've been going through right now, the last thing you need is a relationship. You're right. Bad idea. She just couldn't understand. I was beyond pills, shock therapy, or whining about my emptiness. I just had to end the pain. I needed that warm point of love I knew was just beyond death. I needed to know where my father was. Sick people. Oh, really? <laughs> so, why do you. Why do you have that funny look in your eye? You don't look in my eye. It's that same look that you had when you came by to tell me that you were going to the Himalayas to climb Mount McKinley or whatever it was. Everest, Mom. Well, Everest, McKinley, whatever. So, what gives? What's up? Nothing. I just came by to tell you that I wouldn't be able to have dinner with you tonight. Oh, well, why not? I've got everything all ready. Um, I've got a, a... Are you sure you can't stay? Something important. Mr. Doctor. I 
just felt so ashamed. How do you tell your own mother, the woman who gave you the gift of life, that you're going to engineer your own death? The toughest part was finding the right location, one that was in the hospital, where no one would discover what I was about to do. I settled for the boiler room. It took a little time, but I was able to find everything Carl would need to bring me back. The last thing I did was set up a video camera to record the event. your help on something. Sure, what do you need? Well, I just made myself a potassium chloride bolus cocktail. You want to join me? That'll kill you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. But you're going to revive me. Hey, what are good friends for, right? Eric, that's crazy. Don't do it. There's no guarantee I can bring you back. Listen, buddy. Everything you need is here. I figure I got about six minutes until I'm a vegetable. Snow White. Time for the big bad apple. Excuse us, please, Marissa, come with me. Come with me. What's going on? Come with me. I need your help. Why? It's Eric. What? He's dead. Do you mean he's dead? It was like everything I'd ever seen or felt or tasted was a mere shadow of what this was. And it wasn't just my imagination. I mean, the brain couldn't just generate this. Was it heaven? I don't know. It sure felt like it was. 